Over the last few years, SpaceX has gained the attention of many space enthusiasts all around the globe. And many people have wondered, when will SpaceX send astronauts up into space? And it turns out it might be happening within the next month. So in this video, we're going to talk about the Demo 2 mission, what exactly it is, and why people are so excited for it. So let's talk about that. Before we start talking about SpaceX and the Demo 2 mission, we need to go back in time to 2010. Around this time period, NASA was finishing up the Space Shuttle program and their last launches to the International Space Station. But at the time, they were a little bit concerned about the future of human exploration, specifically to low Earth orbit, because they had planned to develop a larger rocket, which is currently known as the Space Launch System. but it would be pretty ineffective just to go to low Earth orbit or to the International Space Station with this massive rocket. Therefore, they decided, what if we created a commercial partnership to try and get to the International Space Station or low Earth orbit? And they called this the Commercial Crew Program. Essentially, this is a way for NASA to ask commercial companies to design and develop their own crewed spacecraft which over the course of a decade would allow them to eventually send astronauts to the ISS again on American soil. Over this time frame, there have been many companies that have contributed to the commercial crew program, including the United Launch Alliance, Sierra Nevada Corporation, Blue Origin, and many others. However, as of 2014, NASA finalized on two companies being responsible to develop the final spacecraft that would go to the International Space Station and these two companies being Boeing and SpaceX. SpaceX, which is developing the Dragon 2 spacecraft, had its first orbital flight test in March of 2019. Now, I made an entire video talking about this mission being called Demo-1, so if you want to learn more about that, go ahead and check it out. However, Dragon 2 can be used for either Crew Dragon or Cargo Dragon, and the names are pretty self-explanatory. Cargo Dragon can take 3,300 kilograms of cargo to the International Space Station, and Crew Dragon can take upwards of seven astronauts up into space. However, NASA stated that they'll only use four astronauts to their mission to the ISS. Now, similarly, Boeing has also been developing their spacecraft called CST-100 Starliner. Now, Starliner had its very first test flight back in December. However, due to various technical difficulties without the flight, they're going to have another test later this year and hopefully have their first crewed launch by either late this year or early in 2021. So Boeing is a little bit behind SpaceX. However, it's going to be interesting to see how well these two vehicles compare to one another when in use. Now, you might be wondering, if SpaceX had their first orbital test flight nearly a year ago, then why haven't they launched astronauts yet? And the answer is because they've had to do a couple more tests since then, including an in-flight abort test as well as parachute testing and a couple ground tests. And due to some of the issues that they ran into, specifically on one ground test last April, they had to introduce more testing. So really, NASA is just trying to make sure that this vehicle is incredibly safe for astronauts to be on board. And that's why all of these tests are taking place. So that leads us to the Demo-2 mission. So what is Demo-2? Demo-2 is SpaceX's very first crewed launch. It's sending two astronauts to the International Space Station to demonstrate to NASA that they have the technological capabilities to do so, and can also do so safely. Now, it's important to note that originally, NASA had scheduled for these astronauts to stay on board the station for a few days. However, as of a few weeks ago, NASA announced that they're actually going to keep the astronauts on board for two to three months mainly saying that if we're sending the astronauts up there and everything works perfectly, then why don't we just let them work up there? So it's going to be interesting to see how well everything goes with this mission and what all we learn from what's going on. Now, the mission is currently scheduled to launch from Kennedy Space Center on May 27th of 2020, so a little bit under a month from now. So it'll be interesting to see how well all of these things go. But the main question is, why are people so excited about Demo 2? And it's not that hard of a question to answer. 
The main reason is because the last time the United States has launched astronauts from the U.S. soil was in 2011. This is the largest period of time in which an astronaut has not launched from the United States since NASA was started. And you might be thinking, well, what about between Apollo and the space shuttle program? And it turns out Apollo Soyuz was in 1975 and the space shuttle program started in 1981. So that's just a matter of six years. Right now, we're talking about a nine year drought where astronauts have not launched from the United States. So this essentially is saying not only can the United States launch astronauts again to the space station, but they can also launch them on commercial vehicles that are developed by a private company. Another reason why people are excited about this launch is because this is commercial space flight. Although the beginning here is a lot of development and improvement on safety standards, eventually as Boeing and SpaceX become more routine in their crewed launches, it will hopefully lower the cost to get to space as well as allow more people to get into space. Therefore, a lot of people see this as potentially the beginning of space tourism, where much like NASA is paying SpaceX to launch astronauts, anyone that has enough money can buy a ticket on one of SpaceX's launches and go up into space for maybe a few days or even weeks. So that's another reason why people are excited about these launches, because it could lead to a new era of human spaceflight. Now you might be considering to travel to see this launch, however NASA is recommending against that due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Now personally, I highly recommend that you keep track of the live streams from your home, not only of the launch, but also of the docking procedure. It should be interesting and exciting to see what all happens with the Demo 2 mission. But with all that being said, I have one question for you. Do you think this mission is going to lead to a new era of human exploration? Or do you think it might just become the normal over the course of a few years? Let me know in the comments below. But with all that being said, thank you for watching, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.